what is up everybody how are you going i have got my mic turned on it's the first time for everything uh, as alan quite rightly pointed out i do forget to turn my mic on on a regular basis but today i've absolutely and utterly nailed it that's what streaming does uh, on a regular basis mate this is like two weeks in a row professionalism out of the park how are we going everybody Who's in the chat today? We've got Steve. Good morning. Good to see you. Hope you're well. Why does everyone keep saying I'm early? What? Hold on. Why am I early? Did I say I said 20 hundred, didn't I? GMT, that's what it is now, isn't it? Or what? I don't know. Everyone keeps saying I'm early. Uh, New Zealand wins on the rugby. We win in the cricket, I can tell you that. 2020 World Cup, absolutely pants the Australians last night. Loved it. Mayday, how you going? Good to see you. CMJ, CJM even. Uh, Kingy, a caravan and caravan. What's next for Black Square? Hope they bring more of these modified default planes, planes to the sim. Yeah, definitely. I'm really looking forward to this one today. Uh, they actually delayed the release uh, for a week or so just to get it right. Imagine that, a video game related company waiting for release rather than just thro throwing out rubbish. Good on them for that. Awesome. Alan, good morning. Are you well? Joe, how you going? Good to see you. Another Kiwi Air disaster stream. Indeed. You know, that's what's going to happen. Uh, Morrissey says, in what area will emergency services be called? Uh, look, I think it's there's a chance that uh, it could actually be anywhere on here, it would be fair to say, anywhere between our departure and arrival. I think they've just got them scattered sort of in even, even sort of... Uh, increments along the route just just in case hey nick how you going i'm well yes yourself hope you're well 2100 uk time yeah is it 2100 uk time is it right now i thought uk was on gmt oh, shit, it's confusing as hell it's like nine o'clock hold on someone be hold on what did i say on my thing here everybody 2000 gmt that's what it is right now so why are you saying i'm early you mean like two minutes early or something? Mike's on, practice makes perfect. You know it, mate. 9.04, yes. There we go. Anyway, let's jump in here, everybody. I'm in the King Ear, the analog. Uh, the Steam Gauge Overhaul by uh, Black Square, which uh, Just Flight have hooked me up with a coffee. A, co a coffee. A coffee too, but also a coffee. You get a free coffee with this. If you don't get one, don't blame me. Wreckage can be over a large area. Do you need me in the medivac helicopter? Yes, that would probably be really helpful. <laughs> Mark, how you going? Good to see you. Welcome in. I haven't put our route in here, team. Uh, let's have a look here. Uh, if a... Oh, what did I put? If a... What, what did I say it was going to be? If a LE. Just put this in our uh, in the overlay, everybody. If a DK. If a DK. Kiwi, there we go, boom, there we go, the overlay is now correct, how about that, oh look at this intro here, it's looking pretty flash, I lost my bloody thing, okay, I've got my PS5 controller now everybody, I bought a PS5 controller to use a Microsoft Flight Simulator, I didn't actually use it, uh, buy it for this, I actually bought it for the golf game, for PGA Tour 2K23, which since last time, I've softened my view on it, I hated it last time we talked about it, and I'm uh, liking it a lot more now for some reason. But anyway, here we go. This is just one of the default uh, liveries, by the way. So we'll talk a little bit about the um, the Black Square King Air Steam Gauge Overhaul in a second. Uh, the key thing you need to know, it's all about the interior. Nothing to do with the exterior. So you can just use your normal repaints, etc. This is all about remodeling the interior and adding a ton of new systems. Similar to the, uh, the Caravan one, which we showcased a little while ago. Uh, what's everyone saying here? Nice boots. Yes. Our clocks go back at the end of this month, I think. Right. Okay, I'm with you. Ours went forward. Forward in the in the summer. Like, it's coming up to summer here. Anyway, hope you're all well. Uh, jump in and uh, join the flight if you like to. North Europe server. It sees it up the top there. Uh, for those playing at home. We're doing a little 100 uh, nautical mile flight. Let me just grab my little list up here. I want to make sure I cover off the main bits of this. Is Ronald in the house at the moment? I haven't seen him. Oof. Do you have a Discord? I certainly do. Put exclamation mark Discord in there and uh, jump in there. Go for it. As I always say, there's scintillating repartee to be had there. 
Anyway, here we are in the uh, in the King Ear, the Black Square Steam Gauge Overhaul King Ear. And there are a ton of features in here. I'm just going to go across the first five or six of them. And then what we're going to do is we'll start it up. And this is going to be a little bit disturbing for all usual viewers, but I'm going to be following some procedures. Don't judge me, okay? Do not judge me. But the main thing, you know, if you compare this to the, the standard, stock standard one, you'll see pretty quickly there's a lot of differences to be had. Uh, the key thing that you're going to notice in this particular version is that every switch in here does something. Look, no in-ops. I haven't got my little thing on, but basically all these switches work, which is absolutely tremendous. And this thing actually flies pretty realistically. I've never actually flown it myself in real life. Obviously being a very experienced real life pilot, as you all know, um, that will come as a bit of a shock. Uh, that's sarcasm for those that aren't aware. Uh, but it's got full uh, operable circuit breakers. Uh, it's got all accurate uh, gauges, etc., and a ton of uh, operational buttons and switches, which is pretty cool. Uh, one thing you can do here too that's really cool is uh, you can swap out the type of GPS navigation that you got in here. And I've actually got the GTN 750. I actually picked up the, I didn't even know there was a free version of it, but I went and picked it up. Uh, and you can actually switch out uh, using these switches over here. You can switch out and, and change it up for all different types of uh, GPSs that you want to throw in here. So if you're going to go real uh, manual, you can. You can knock out some of the more modern technology. Or if you want to go uh, a little bit more modern, you can throw in the GTN 750 or one of the other uh, GPSs. So if we just... Uh, it's not going to work. Uh, but you can see the buttons are over here. So they've done a pretty bloody good job. Uh, you come, it comes with a pretty comprehensive manual, so for those of you that likes, uh, who like to use manuals and uh, actually find out how to do it properly, you've got everything you need there. The big thing here is, is uh, let's see, is he here yet? No, I was going to say, Ronald, Ronald, if you rewatch this, mate, 175 failures to be had, random or scheduled, you can put in there. Now, let's be honest, when I fly, I do not need any help with being a failure. So I haven't got them turned on, but you can absolutely turn them on and 175 different failures. Ronald will have that turned up to the max. So it's got state saving. So, you know, similar to other versions where you can either, you know, lo uh, load it in, it's uh, cold and dark or, you know, running or whatever you want. What else we got here? I'll just go through my list here so I make sure I cover off. Uh, electric meters are accurately responding to all loads. So uh, when you got your landing lights on and all that sort of stuff, the dials in relation to uh, the electronics will will adjust accordingly one cool thing is the um, battery charge so you can run the battery right down and then you plug it into the um uh into your ground power and then you'll see the um you'll see the spike in the in the meter so that's kind of cool every single circuit breaker is pullable with correct electrical logic bloody hell uh oh yeah working windshield wipers so these things here they work which is pretty cool i like that uh, uh it's got a fully simulated environmental control system, so you keep uh, like if you want to freeze the passengers like I often do because I forget to turn on the air conditioning or the heating, then you can do that or turn it up, turn it up nice and well. We are in you uh, no, we're, I was, I was going to fly out of the UK, but we're flying out of South Africa. But if we're in the UK, it's definitely going to be on a heater. Let's be honest. Uh, what are the other things here? Let me just have a quick look here. Uh, we've made went through. Uh, you've got 45 normal and abnormal checklists. So if you love checklists, let's jump up here. Treat yourself, everybody. My God, so many checklists in here. Yes, and that's how I say checklists, okay? So just be, just be aware of that. Uh, emergency gear extension hand pump. Uh, custom prop governor and auto feather logic. I know you guys are loving this. Oxygen system will deplete based on pilot and co-pilot weight and altitude. Well, I'm a fat bastard, so it's going to deplete real quickly. But there you go. So obviously, a bloody another good effort by the guys over at um, Black Square. So we're going to give it a whirl. Like I say, I'm not accustomed to this aircraft. What I've actually gone and done is flightsim.to have got the checklist. I quite like having them in front of me here. This is Philippe Matoso. So if you're watching, thank you very much for your checklist. It's bloody awesome. Um, I'm not going to do the full before starting engine one. There's just one, uh, one part of that that I will do. Um, but the rest of it will um, will will just jump straight into the starting engine. Uh, so that's what have you guys been saying? Sorry, so glad you didn't go through with the nakedness. <laughs> yes, Morrissey nearly fainted because of procedures. <laughs> Ronald will definitely be hard for those failures, Nick. He'll be absolutely loving it. 
CGM just posted a pic of my livery of my King Air analog in your Discord screenshot section. Love this plane. Here we go. Here we go. Let's check it out. We're going to get straight into it. Let's check out this livery right here, everybody. Apologies in advance if uh, this has, if it's um, abusive or rude. Not really. I don't really apologize, to be honest. You know, here we go. Oh, hold on. I better turn on so you can see the bloody thing, boys. Relax. Here we go. Um, boom, boom. Here we go. Look at that. Nice. I like it. It's got Brazil. It's got UK on the side. What's that? What's that say on the side? There? I can't quite see. It says something. There we go. Yeah, bloody good aircraft. This. So we're going to give it a wheel, boys. Thanks, CJM. Uh, we'll get rid of our Discord. And let's try to go through it. So, uh, like I was saying with the checklist, yes, that's how I say it. You go before starting the engine, and you can go through everything right here. Uh, there's a whole bunch of things you should be going through, but we're not going to be doing that because we're just going to trust that the co-pilot has done that correctly. The one, the key thing that I do want to do here is this. Go ahead and uh, turn on the uh, master switch. So, uh, this here, by the way, you can go through the checklist, press the little eye there, and it'll show you where the actual where the um where that particular switch is which is kind of handy if you're not familiar <clears throat> oh it's your channel nice okay we'll throw up our master switch and then we go in here and we'll say make sure your bolts are 23 or above uh there we go so that's all good uh set no good okay we're good so we'll go to engine start we're going to do this off the battery i've gone ahead and plugged in like uh created some custom views here so i can just quickly go to the main parts of it now i might need to go back and use the um actual uh, electronic checklist from time to time because i might not be able to find stuff uh beacon light needs to go on so let's run down here i know where that is it's over here boom done prop area clear that guy's a bit close but Hopefully he's okay. Gen ties main closed at night. That's cool. Uh, right starter to start. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on here. Let's just make sure prop levers full forward. Yeah. There is a couple of things on the before start checklist that you just got to get your head around. Let me grab this over here too, my joystick. Uh, um, okay, so hold on, hold on, hold on. Full forward ground idle. Oh, where's ground? Is low idle ground idle? Oh, Mace, what's happening here? Hey, 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 hey. Come here. Come. Come here. This thing won't move. Here we go. Could be user error. Uh, that's not... Uh, what's that saying? So hold on. I, you do need to actually go through some of the stuff in the before starting engines. Power levers ground. Power levers ground idle. Get it right, mate. Not your freaking... Get your act together, mate. Condition levers on cutoff. Yes, there we go. Okay, we got there. Flaps up. Okay, good. Okay, maybe it is worth going through that checklist sometimes. Okay, this is my first time in this. I've got more flashing lights than a runway expecting Ronald in the Phoenix. <laughs> than a runway expecting Ronald in the Phoenix. <laughs> okay, so we've got our prop levers all sorted and everything. Right starter is got to go to uh, start. So... Uh, where are we here, boys? Uh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, here we go. Right, to start. Oh, I can hear things happening. There we go. Low idle above 12 NG. Uh, oh, yep, there we go. Beautiful. Okay, so we've got that going. That's good. Uh, ITT less than uh, 1,090. Engine temperature, that is. Yep, we're good there. Okay, good. Okay, so far so good. Oil, temp, and pressure within limits. Are we all in the green? Oil is uh, good. Temperature, green, green. Okay, so, so far so good, everybody. Uh, right starter off at 50% NG. Mm, yep, okay, so we can turn the starter off. Uh, where are we? Uh, hold on. Oh, where is it again? 
down here. Here we go. Oil fuel extinguish. Yep, right is, the right one is. Let's get rid of these master warnings. Uh, right generator reset then on. That's over here. So uh, this, this is a little bit of a tricky button, this one I've found. Uh, yeah, I find this a little bit tricky to grab this one. Yeah, there we go. Reset, then on. There we go. So our generator is on, everybody. Holy jeez, mate. Okay, uh, and we got RCD annunciator is... Yep, that's good. Yep, okay, we've got nothing on there. Gen load, uh, 50. Right, gen. Uh, here we go. Load needs to be 10 to 50%. Yep, that's good. It's right on 10. Uh, gen volts at 28 volts. Yes. Uh, bat amps positive. I have no idea where that is. Ah, uh, yeah, here we go. Uh, yes, it's positive. That's good. Right condition lever high idle. Okay. Beautiful, everybody. This thing here's getting a bit, a little bit bloody uh, fired up, isn't it? And there we go. We have started up our right end. What's this saying here? Bleed foul. That's okay. We'll, we'll come back to that. Sounds don't change when you open the window. Schoolboy era. <laughs> Passengers has gone on the bus. <laughs> Yeah, the gene gene reset can take a few a few goes. Yeah, passengers, <laughs> they've they've bolted. All right, prop area clear. Okay, right, let's go. This should be a little bit easier this time around, boys. Okay, so there's um, let's go ahead and turn our left starter on. Just wait for that to increase a bit there. Here we go. It's past twelve, and then we bang this up to low idle. Uh, so we want to make sure that our temps and everything in the green, less than 1,019 temperature, ITT. Yeah, it's coming back down nicely. There we go. Left starter at 50 NG. We're currently at, there we go, right there. Left starter can go off. Whew. Tell you what, boys. Uh, extinguished. Yes, that's gone. Right condition lever, low idle. Okay. Uh, left generator reset then on oh shit no that's tricky as hell boys reset then on Whew. that's about turned everything off that was a bloody champion effort wasn't it yeah okay don't need those All right let's jump up here let's have a look at our left generator here boys yep good oh, have, I, have I turned the whole freaking thing off have I I got a feeling I have. I got a feeling that I have. No, I think I'm fine. I think I'm fine. All right, uh, where are we? Oh, this thing here is my um, my little throttle. My throttle on my joystick here is a little bit bloody testy, boys. Okay. Bat amps positive. Okay, right. Gen ties norm. Hold reset. Okay. Right. I've got a. Oh, no. That is annoying as hell, boys. Okay, got a hold reset on the right. Hold reset on the left. Okay. Oh my god, everybody. What's happened, Alan? My hair is turning grey as well. The official training provided for the Kamikaze Squadron. <laughs> ha! Hmm. You can see why we don't do procedures. Anyway, as you can see, comprehensive, without a doubt. So we'll find east odds. So let's say 7,000 for our initial altitude, eh? I'm going to go with that. Okay, so I think we absolutely nailed that. Uh, okay, where here does it say to throw on your bloody... Where does it say to throw on all your avionics and etc? Shouldn't it has to be pretty soon? Let's have a look at it. Let's go through here. Before taxi. Here we go. Fire detector test cycle. Oh, I'm not even going to go and find that. Well, I suppose we could. Let's go ahead and do this. 
before taxi. Here we go. Down here. There we go. Yep, that's working. Okay, that's working. Fine ounces observed. Yes, gear handle lights test. That's fine. Still one. Who cares? Open. Get rid of that. Gen ties open. Uh, down. There we go. Beautiful. Gen tie announcers illuminated. Where? I can't see them. Just got FEC realistic. Really good. Yeah, there's been issues with it, eh? Gen ties. Okay, good. 28 bus cents. Okay, that's fine. 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 Up here, uh, that's good. Good bleed ear valves open. I assume that's open, is it? Uh, pneumatic pressure green. Yes, it is indeed. Temperature mode auto, duct temperature, vent blower, blah blah blah. Cabin master on. There we go. Cabin accessories, gyro suction green. I saw it before it was. There we go. It's close enough. AC inverters on. Here we go. Now we're getting into the real exciting stuff, everybody. AC bus announciators extinguished. They are indeed. Yes. AC frequency 400 hertz. Where? Yep, there it is. 400. Beautiful. AC volts 120. Push. Yes, it is. 120. There you go. Weather reader. Avionics master. Here we go. This is the checklist we want, boys. Whack that on. Sweet. Okay, we have got remote slaved in a line. I have no idea how to do that, so let's just go with it. Flight instrument set, audio and radars. Okay, let's go ahead and do our barrow. Beautiful. That's fine. Fine. Exterior lights. Let's go ahead and throw our taxi on. Our nav on. We won't put recognition on yet. Parking brake release. Brakes test. That's fine. Whoo! Jeez. Okay. My hair is too okay. <laughs> what page is that if it's realistic, eh? Okay. okay. Radio boys. Let's throw this checklist up here. So let's go and check out this panel here. Um, let's look at our flight plan. It's in there. Great. Uh, v lock. Uh, let's go back to back. Uh, so, how do you change? No, no. How do you change? So we've got flight plan. I just want to change this V lock down here. Menu, cruising. Let's go seven thousand. Seven one two three. Enter. That's cool. I want to change this down here to uh, GPS. How do I do that? Anybody? Anybody know? Let me know. Can you confirm the pilot is naked? <laughs> Definitely is. Okay, here we go. What we're going to do is figure out how to... Oh, here we go. GPS. Mate, I'll tell you what. What's the wind doing here, team? What is the wind doing? Oh, we're going to take off with it. Okay, I'll just follow you guys, but that is definitely a tail win for me. So there goes the uh, GTN 750, so that's all good. Uh, let's have a look at... Uh, I don't think I'm going to do a run-up today, boys, but you should do it. You should definitely do it. Holy jeez, the uh, run-up is a decent size. Oh, no, that's the external power startup. Relax. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, taxi. Anything I need to know for taxiing? Extra heater off. Generator loads check. Battery set for takeoff. Not too sure. Whew. Had the carry in the wind. <laughs> too good. <laughs> All right. Well, I think so far so good, everybody. It's definitely, it's one of these aircraft you're going to have to do a bit of work on just to get familiar with it. Um, I'm certainly going to need a bit of uh, a bit of 
time to get used to it. Um, and that's because I'm slow. I need time to get used to the Cessna 172. What I do need to do though, everybody, is just... I don't think I finished off that other checklist. Oh, here we go. I did, I actually skipped a, uh, I've got to admit it, I did skip a whole page, everybody. But here we go, boys. Let's do it. Throw my parking brake. Let's just, uh, before taxi, announce the it's Good, 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 good. We did that. Uh, bleed, we've done. Cabin master, that's good, that's good, that's good. Okay, nose wheel centered. Okay, so this is just the run up. We'll go through it. I've got it on my checklist here. Uh, pitch trim wheel takeoff position. Yep. These uh, throttles are freaking real senso. As you can see, they're flicking around all over the place. That's my joystick. Uh, pitch trim annunciator. That's okay, observe. Your damper engaged. Oh, jeez, Mace, where's that? Oh, let's grab this one here, boys. Just so we can... Uh, just so we can find it. There we go. Your damper. Beautiful. Okay, cycle... Rudder boost cycle. I don't know what that does, but let's go with it. Autopilot's master engage. No, we'll do that later. Um, standby. Put those on standby. Engine anti-ice on. Let's do it. All right, this is good. Are they illuminating? It says it should be illuminated. Where? Where? It's not. So we might have a issue there. Anti-ice onto main. Let's put that onto main. Uh, Anti-ice. Power levers idle. Yep. Auto ignition arm. Ignition annunciators illuminate. No, that's not. I'm not getting any illumination there, boys. That's happened a few times, so I'm not too sure what's going on there. Advanced to about 17 torque. Oh, a little bit too much. Hold on. Ah, uh, yep. That's good. Auto ignition off. Uh, hold to go. Ah, oh, yep. Uh, okay, 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 yeah, that's cool, 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 cool. Yep, let's go. So cool, yep. Prop levels fall forward. I'm skipping a few steps here, ladies and gentlemen, just for the... Uh, hold on, mate. Best condition levers, get it sorted, mate. Prop levers are fall forward. Power levers to idle. Okay, low pitch. Da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da. Okay, so this is stuff you should do so your engine doesn't quit on you halfway through the flight. So just remember to do this in real life, everybody. Uh, that's good, 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 good. Auto feather arm. Let's do it. Windshield auto ice on high. Nice shooting. Let's go. Windshield anti ice. Oh, okay. This is just testing all this shit. Okay. Let's just go through. Seems good. That seems good to me. Okay, before takeoff, set for takeoff. Let's throw landing lights on, taxi light off, icing can go on, recondition can go on. Boom, boom. Prop levers fall forward. Condition levers high idle. Parking brake, blah, blah, blah. Okay. And then when we take off, uh, I'm just going to go. We're just going to go for it. So, what is it, the end answer is, everybody? Holy moly, there's a lot to freaking get through on here, boys. Uh, what's happened to what got left? Uh, what's this? Oil pressure? Why? Why, why? Is it this? We've got a left oil pressure light. Why? No fuel transfer? Why?
<sighs> Hold on. Is my left engine even on? No, it is not, everybody. It is not on, everybody. What the hell's happened here, boys? Okay. What we can do then is... Let's bring this one down to low idle. We'll go over here. We will... Um, we'll go ahead and uh, start a, start a, start a, start a... It is... should actually be down here boys because huh. you accidentally moved your cold lever to cut off did I oh jeez I didn't see it yeah it does have an autopilot a moment ago did I bounce I bumped it did I ah oh, what an idiot let's get that up to there boys follow chick list one engine is dead welcome to Kiwi Air <laughs> look it's back on everybody relax Okay, then go forward. Uh, no, not yet. It shouldn't go forward yet, but let's just do it. Left gen. This here is the tricky bit. And then, uh, where's my starter over here? Off. Okay, boys. I'll tell you what, we're all over it. We are absolutely all over it. I think it's fair to say we know exactly what we're doing. Private dating chat girls. Alan. You got our sponsor. Awesome. Finally. Finally got our sponsor. Right, okay, we did a run up from completely and utterly uh, accurately there, everybody. Check last. <laughs> All right, boys, where you go. Um, right, take off climb power levers. Uh, 1600 RPM was desired. Okay, cool. Okay, so when we take off, it's going to be take off power. We'll just have to figure that out. Uh, pitch 10 degrees, gear up. Uh, okay, cool. I'm not, uh, it's gonna be one notch of flaps has gone on. That's George and his new website. <laughs> Condition lever, you mean? Yeah, yeah. Did I knock it down? Did I? Yeah. I was gonna get my, uh, my Bravo out today, and then I realized that I couldn't be bothered. I don't know what's happened there. Let's go. I'm just gonna go. Let's keep this in the green, boys. We are airborne. Gear up. Is it up? I said gear up. There we go. Let's do it now. Okay, so. Let's just trim this out a bit, boys. I think our. So let's go ahead and just get this autopilot on so then we can focus on trying to fly this bloody thing. Oh, hold on, I'm pitching up to 20. Okay. Right. Uh, where the hell is the bloody autopilot here, team? It'd be good if I'm not... Uh, Okay, what do we got? Hold on, let's, let's focus on what's right there. 1600 RPM. I can't see a bloody thing here, guys. Uh, okay, so we need to pull the RPMs back just a bit. Looking good. Um, what else have we got to be doing? Uh, flaps can go up. Uh, everything's in the green, so as long as it's in the green, that's all good. Right, how do I how do I freaking do this autopilot, boys? That's the big question that needs to be answered. Alright, let's just trim this out. Where are the autopilot controls? Down on here, maybe? Here we go. All over it. Uh, nav. This is working well. 
This is working absolutely perfectly, everybody. AP engage, nav. Okay, it's fine. Okay, now we're back on track, boys. We know what's going down. That sounds completely normal. And let's rejoin our track over here. We've trimmed up just a little bit too much here, boys. Yeah, center console. Yep, yeah, got it, got it. Thank you. So let's... Oh, shit. Too many things going on here, team. Let's just get back on track here. And then let's uh, engage our autopilot in a minute. We're going to have nav. Uh, we have nav. We have climb. That sounds good. Let's go with that. So hopefully, I assume climb's like your... Uh, Hey, 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 no, 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 not at 4,000 feet per minute, boys. What the hell is this? I'm not too sure what this thing's thinking. Why is it not? Yeah, let's get that off. Like, this is a very smooth flight for these passengers so far, everybody. I think everyone's feeling pretty happy about the situation. Right, let's get ourselves back on track, team. We may or may not make it. Okay. Right, okay, so we're kind of on track now, so that's good. Old altitude alert, where are we? 6.5, okay, that's good. So let's go, let's engage the autopilot. No, why does it always want to go left? Why? Go, 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 go. Get off, get off. Why? Why? Why is it doing that? Oh, you can actually use the autopilot in it, can you? Yeah, I've, I've not used it before, so not, not on here at least. Why does it keep pulling left? I've got GPS as the uh, CDI. Now I'm well above my uh, altitude, so let's, uh, let's just grab this. Let's go autopilot and let's go altitude right there okay so now we're maintaining our altitude that's fine seven thousand oh, seven thousand that's fine okay right let's just figure this out team what's happened so i've got the autopilot on uh at the moment i've got a yaw that's fine is this so if i go nav on here it's saying GPS. What's the message say? Set course to 064. Sam, how you doing? Good to see you, mate. Welcome in. So look, I mean look, nav, this should just go nav, and that should just follow the bloody line. I mean now it looks like it's, what's it say over here? AP trim fail. It's fine. So the key is will it actually, okay how do you zoom in and out on here? There you go. Is this going to work everybody? This is the question. So, like, I mean, I could have gone and done a test flight before the stream, couldn't I? But then it wouldn't be anywhere near as fun as this. See, so now I'm coming back on track here. Right. And so it should intercept. But it's not. It just flies, I think. Well, hold on. Let's just see what it does. Oh, okay. It's rounding out. It's rounding. Okay, it's completely fine. Relax, everybody. Relax. Okay, so in the cruise... I mean, just keep it in the green as the go, guys. That's the go. So, we can probably pull the torque back just a touch here. There we go. There we go. That's comfortable. 
totally comfortable. Okay, AP trim fail. Hmm. Who knows? Who bloody knows, everybody? Here we go, look at this. And now, uh, yeah, look, see? Now I'm on a big angle like this. Is it starting to level out a bit, is it? Yeah, maybe. Anyway, guys, I think as usual, you can see that it's a completely professional and accurate stream. Completely and utterly accurate. There we go. It looks like I'm uh, back to level peg in here, team. We are. Okay. And are we following now? We are right on it. Never a doubt. Right. Let's just suss some of this stuff out, boys. Let's go back here. Right. So, what have we got going on here? Pitch trim off. Oxy not armed. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's good. Good. Oh, we don't really need oxygen at this level, to be honest. <laughs> That'll be fine. Passengers will be fine, but let's go through and have a look at some of these switches, see if we can fix some of this stuff. Left DC generator, okay. Okay. Uh... Let's see. Like that. And then like that. Did that work? Mark, coming in with €5.99, a small contribution to your type rating study. <laughs> what are you trying to say, mate? I'm all over it. I, I, don't, need any, I don't need any training. <laughs> Thanks, Mark. Keep your money and go and buy yourself some add-ons, everybody. Don't give it to me. But I do appreciate it. Thanks, mate. <laughs> oh, my God, boys. This is kind of fun. Terrain, 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 terrain. I've got to say. <laughs> Okay, pitch trim off, oxy not armed. Right, let's go through here. Let's see if we can figure this out, boys. Thanks again, Mark. Appreciate it. You're a legend. Let's put our strobe light on too, just for a bloody laugh. Just for a laugh. Uh, okay, let's see if we can get rid of this. Pitch trim off. Uh, rudder boost off. I think these are down here somewhere. Look at trim. Like that. There we go. Easy as that, Tank. Just relax. Those are being disilluminated. That's a real. That is definitely a real word. Oxygen. Uh, oxygen. Uh, there we go. Sweet. We don't really need anti ice. I don't think at this point. So let's turn our anti ice off. Off on our. Uh, on our. Pro whereabouts is it? Our windshield is. Uh, no, hold on. Engine. Read it. Read it, dumbass. Um, no. Um, engine anti ice. There we go. Okay. Look at this. We've cleared all the is issues and we are flying like an absolute bloody champion. We are flying at. Uh, we are flying quite fast, aren't we? We are flying at 7,300 feet, which is a little bit off where we need to be but look look at this the engines are uh we're in the green 1600 that's nice 90 torque it's kind of fine we are pulling a bit of fuel to be fair but we're in the greens in the green in the green uh let's just adjust our barrow there we go uh one thing to think about too is that there's actually a pilot's handbook that will tell you what you should be flying so let's check that out let's go into our community folder holy moly guys i tell you what jesus whoo Man, I'm sweating. Is this what it's like to fly re and re like responsibly? I don't think I'm a fan. I don't think I'm a fan at all. That's great. It's good. It's good fun, actually. Can't hear myself. Right. Uh, analog King Air. Uh, manual. Uh, King Air Manual. Here we go. Let's check this out, boys. Let's bring it up over here. Passengers are rather enjoying the hypoxia. <laughs> Look up. Nice. Got an escort. I need that. Your trims have fell off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's grab the. Here goes the uh, the handbook. You can't see it at the moment, everybody, but just bear with me. Oh man, there is a lot of stuff in here. Okay. Oh, where's the uh, POH though? Oh, 
Okay. Recommended schools. Direct route navigation. Tick. Parallel flight along airways. Easy. Location and distance from waypoint. Easy. Enhanced geography. Okay. Let's not look at that too closely. Um, where's the POH? I don't think that's in this. Yeah, it's not in this this one here, so that is not going to help. Close the tabs. Uh, it might th sometimes it throws it in your documents. Uh, content info. Uh, uh, yep. Um, documents. My games. No, it's not. Okay, I'm not too sure where the. Uh, Let's have a look in our checklist here, team. Yes, that's how you say it. So, let's list these all. Cruise. Power level. See, POH. Yeah, I know, but I, oh, where is POH? Do we have one? Maybe it is in here. Probably is. CJM, do you know where it is? Okay, have a look. Uh, Black Square. Analog King here. Uh, manual is not, that's not the, that's not the, it doesn't have the info in it. Uh, continent, no, that's not in there. Effects, no. Nope. Mm. Oh, here we go. No. Nope. Hmm. Maybe. Uh, mm, uh. Oh, here we go. No. Okay, I'm not too sure where it is. Not too sure, everybody. Where the uh, where the I'm flying quite low, aren't I? It'd be fair to say, at seven thousand feet in this aircraft. But hey, why not? Why not? Uh, oh, I'd like to find this because I'd actually like to know what the actual. Let's go back into this manual again. Maybe I completely missed it. Let's look at the system. Here we go. Okay, twelve. Avionics, state saving, checklists, hmm, should be in the file folder under docs I think, I don't have a thing called docs, um, let's have a look, it's not part of the ham, it's not, it's not part of the ops manual right, let's see, let's have a 11, let's go to page 11 everybody. Maybe it's... Okay, no. Aircraft performance, V speeds. No. I got the new paid version of the Sky for Sim. It's still in beta, but I really like it already. It has some great new features in it. Nice. I have to have a chat to him, actually. It is a bloody great... Okay. 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 I'm looking through here. I cannot see where it is. I pull mine and save it. Follow where you've got them set now is pretty good. I am matching your speed. Okay, sweet. I just sort of like. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, it's it's a really basic rule. I think you know what you want to do is just keep everything in the green. If you do that, then you're not going to break anything too much. But you want to optimize you know your fuel economy and all that sort of stuff which I'm not doing at the moment just sort of guessing where it should be uh, so that is, could be an issue uh, let's throw our panel lights on actually don't need those there we go it's a little bit of a glow yeah okay I'm just looking through here to see where the Yeah, I definitely need to read the manual and probably learn how to fly this thing properly. I think we did an okay job, though. For Kiwi Air standards, it was unbelievable. Uh, okay. Where else could it be? I wonder where it could be. Let's go to our downloads and let's look in our installation file. Oh, that's my checklist. That's fine. Yeah, so the checklist I'm using, by the way, like I said, it's by a guy called Philippe Matoso. I got it off, um, I got it off, whatchamacallit, flightsim.to. Uh, yep, 
yeah, it doesn't have. Yeah, I'm just looking here. It doesn't have. Um, it, uh, it used an installer. I kind of printed mine out and have it in a folder as in paper. Nice. <laughs> anyway, let's just use these settings in the meantime. It's fine. We're gonna chew up this uh, this route real quick, though. How far away are we? 26.5. What's the wind doing, everybody? Straight in? Let's get down to uh, 3,000, shall we? Uh, we could probably vertical speed it, right? Oh, I need to turn it off the altitude. Oh, I think we're vertical speeding now, are we? Here we are indeed. Yeah, nice. Okay. Just pull back there. Okay, so descent, uh, pressurization controller, auto feather arm. I think I've already armed it. Let's have another quick look. Uh, it is already armed. Oops. Um, exterior lights has required. That's fine. Altimeters, that's fine. Okay, so I'm just going to cruise down. There's a bit of a cruise descent here. I probably can just uh, do it a little bit more than that. That's cool. Oh my god, boys and girls. Woo! Community folder, black square king air manual, that's my path anyway. Yeah, I've got the manual, but I'm looking for the, um, I'm looking for the reference, the, L, you know, the reference settings. So it, it gives you, you know, at a certain altitude, what your prop should be, what your, um, you know, all that stuff. It tells you what your, what your best settings at any given altitude and temperature and weight. Is that in there? If I just completely missed it, I could have. I'm looking down there. It's a decent sized manual, everybody. So just to show you, by the way, because I think they've done a bloody good job here. Um, main monitor, this. So here goes, like, for every instrument, they give you a visual representation and then a, an explanation on what it does and how to use it. So, you know, obviously you can really get into this aircraft and, and learn the details. Maybe I just completely missed it, but, yeah, I'm just going through. I'm just looking for the... It's usually, like, on a table. It's usually, it's usually in fact... Um, copied out of the real manual let's just go through it's even got this this is like the electrical schematic ha you can get into this big time boys and girls ah look here goes some instructions on how to use the navigation system nope that's not it it's every single so it's it's got a written checklist but obviously I've got my one that I printed out but it's got all the checklists and oh here we go hold on no that's not it Emergency checklist. Yes. Uh, create an ever In the case of navigation system, page 83. No. Or well, 82. No. No, that's not what I'm looking for. Oh, hold on. 8203. No, that's just that's just a checklist. What I'm looking for are the actual, the actual numbers. That is a massive. Yeah, it's 101 pages, boys. <laughs> what I'm looking for is a pilot operational handbook, which has the. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Let's go through here. I mean, what I could do is just. Anyway, boys, um, I could just go. I, I could just simply. Um, is that the airport right there? Is it? How am I looking for? I need to get down a bit lower here, boys. What's the. Um, are we straight in here, everybody? I could just look up King Air Operational Handbook and it'll be in, in the. Uh, it'll be on the internet. Anyway, boys, it's all good. But as you can see, you can really get yourself immersed with this particular aircraft, that's for sure. A lot going on. 8 by 8.8 8 .8 miles. Oof. I feel like I might be going just a touch fast here, team. Okay, relax. In fact, so much so here that I think I'm going to have to I'm sure burn some uh, speed off here. Okay, yeah, yeah. Don't see it in your manual, yeah, neither. 
Okay, I'm just going to head off over here, boys, because I need to drain some... speed and some altitude how do I how do I do this oh, push there we go that's what I'm looking for let's go to 1500 is that our airport there four nauticals Is that right in front of us, eh? Could have planned this approach a little bit better. Okay, great. We can just go downwind here. I am still hoofing along at a ridiculous speed, so that should burn off in a minute. We'll extend downwind here. We'll be fine. some altitude. Burn, burn, burn that speed. Yeah, okay, relax, mate. Relax, I know. speed help me out just need to get into flat range and then we can uh, yeah yeah fine mate just relax this thing is so fast Airport in sight. Oops, I accidentally extended the flaps a little bit uh, early. It's fine. It's completely fine. too high here boys what's beeping there we go ah oh, landing rate go for it it's gonna be ugly boys all right we're gonna act together now we're gonna act together We're a little bit steep here could have really planned this out much better descended way too late uh, just really the speed of this aircraft blooming caught me off to be honest this thing is fast is this the right airport no, this is not the right airport. It helps if you land at the right airport, everybody. That's tip of the day. Tip of the day, land at the right airport. Fire engines on standby, thank you. Let's knock out one of these, uh, one of these flaps. Too busy, too busy trying to slow this thing down. Overflew the airport. 
and then tried to approach some other bloody airport. Here we go, we're over there. I think you it's, it's fair to say that this is completely typical of our uh, of Kiwi Air. I'd like to just bounce up there a bit so I can see what's going on, boys. I think it's fair to say, isn't it? Just grabbing a bit of altitude. Yeah, fire engines driving away for their own safety. <laughs> okay, that altitude can. It's fine. Okay. Yep, the one thing that really strikes me on this aircraft is how bloody fast it is. So fast. Is that the runway right there, is it? Okay. We are going to fly downwind then. Loving all this safety talk. Yes! <laughs> how are you going, Captain Safety? Hope you're well. Good to see you. I'm just demonstrating how to accurately fly this aircraft, obviously. You know how it goes. fly downwind. Let's just uh, give ourselves a bit of an arc. I I'm pretty proud of the fact that I just recognised I was flying to the wrong airport. I thought that was bloody pretty good, wasn't it? What do you reckon? We chewed up that 99 nautical miles real fast, eh? Jeez. PCS, how are you going? Watch the trees on final. I think they should watch me, really. I'm going well. I mean, I'm going well. What about yourself? Right, here we go. This is going to be... This is going to be pretty freaking amazing. I think we're all going to agree with that. Let's just get nice and low. Alan's already there chatting with the fire, fire bobbies. <laughs> I would read that as fire boobies. Either or, he's probably doing it, let's be honest. Swinging around onto finals here, boys. Feeling like I've got this completely and utterly under control. I don't think anyone's going to doubt that that's the case. They've been bound as gag as per Kiwi Air policy. That's good. Alan, being a long-term employee, understands the requirements. Okay, look at us, everybody. All right. There's the runway in sight. Good luck with your landing rate guesses, which some people did and some people didn't. Oh, there are trees on the approach. We're still going to touch fast here, team. <laughs> the requirements and what turns you on all the time. Watch what I'm doing here, boys. <laughs> oh. Okay. All right. Good luck to me. Whew. That was a bit freaking heavy, wasn't it? Do we have reverses on this thing? No. Nice. Well, beat your trays up and bring your seats to the upright position and start praying. And putting the final touches on your wheel. We do have uh, wheel packs in the aircraft, as always. Whew. 
Whew. This thing just does not want to slow down. That was hairy. On my tail on the way in, nice. Whew. I tell you what, boys. Alright, let's get rid of some of these here. Recognition go off. Nav can go off. Strobe can definitely go off. Right, let's... Uh, okay, after landing. End in... Uh, da -da -da, da -da 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 -da, flaps up. Uh, da -da -da, good. Weather radar off. It's all good. Right, let's go through. Park and brake on. Auto feather off. Okay, exterior lights done. Oxygen handles off. There we go. Emergency lights and night avionics off. Uh, AC inverters off. Ah, oh, shit, I don't know. Oh, that's not even on that checklist. This one's a, like the, the internal checklist. There's no here. Where's the AC things? Oh, for God, forgotten. Oh, here we go. Off. Uh, cabin master off. I think that's up here, isn't it? No. This avionics off, off. Power levers fly idle. They are. Condition levers cut off. Prop levers feather. Electrical switches off. Is that, uh, that? Those are going down, eh? Yep. Uh, right. Hey, forest. How you doing? Good to see you. Good job. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, we nailed it, everybody. Absolutely nailed it. Oh, I need to lie down. Jesus. There's a lot going on there, it would be fair to say. There is a lot going on there, but it is fun. It is absolutely fun. What is next? What do you reckon, boys and girls? What should we do? Where should we go? What should we do? Passengers have ran off into the woods. <laughs> Don't blame them. Look, there's a whole lot of switches here that I've left on that I probably need to turn off. That's the one. Master switch. There we go. That's it. I don't like this because you can accidentally turn them off really easily. Anyway, look, that's not quite pop, um, correctly shut down, but it's good enough. The engines are off. And, uh, I mean, we made it. We'd have to say it's success. A pretty heavy landing, it would be fair to say. Bloody awesome. George got new one subscriber from his chat post earlier. Uh, MyDay69 from Holland. He thanks him and says his butt box in the post. <laughs> we could do APL2. We could do APL2. Yeah, why not? Let's do some... Uh, let's do some uh, jet flying, eh? Um, let's grab up APL2. I'm just going to buy a flight because the one I've got in there at the moment is a, uh, is a very small... It's a, sorry, quite a large flight, my next one, so I'm going to have to buy a new one. Stand by, everybody. I will just get this up and running. So we'll fly the Phoenix. Uh, what what flight you reckon? Something short, shortish. Fairly short, something around about an hour is what I'm looking for. Yeah, that's a good, yeah, it's the, uh, the analog. It's bloody good. The analog King Air. They've done a bloody good job, actually. Um, let's think. Okay, I'm going to... Um, you're gonna need a. You're gonna need to put this in full screen to read this properly at 1440p, everybody. Uh, so if we go to schedule, uh, why am I? Yes, I've got a big long one to go. So what I really need to do is, um, oh, what am I doing, dumbass? Uh, how do you do it again? Um, schedule. Uh, how do you? Uh, I thought it was in shop that you buy. F oh, here it is too. Flight tickets. Here we go. Uh, something like um, something like um, a 
I, would, I mean, we could go Christchurch trim done there for a while. NZCH, NZWN, search. We could do this one. Oh, it's only 164. It's not very far, is it? Um, any suggestions? You can hardly, I can hardly read this on my screen, by the way, so you're probably going to hardly be able to see it yourself. Better get out my Phoenix checklist now, boys. Auckland, Queenstown? Ah, a little bit too long. A little bit too long. I need something around about an hour. Um, we could do NZTN to NZWN. Oh, we did that the other week, though, didn't we? And we could just do the good old Auckland to Wellington. NZAA to NZ. Yeah, why not? Let's do the old school, yeah. Search this up. Let's do this, everybody. So we go like this and then we go purchase there we go i know this is like this is about an hour all told by the time you start everything up yep your flights have been accepted all right great so that is going to be my flight so i'll throw this over here team and we'll go into our flight i'll grab the um some brief dispatch but we'll grab the king air uh, sorry uh aircraft let's grab Let's grab the uh, jets, not jets, mate, airliners. Phoenix, liveries, let's go for the, the good old black one today. I'm gonna depart NZAA. Now, if it's flying to, um, if it's gonna fly to Wellington, you're most likely gonna be in gate 20, usually 28 or 29, somewhere around there. So, we'll grab it, it's in here somewhere. Or even 30. See, this, these gates aren't... Oh, yeah, this, these gates are... I don't think these gates are all uh, correct. What have we done here? 24, 24, 29. Yeah, 29's good. I don't think that's quite right, but anyway, let's go with it. Uh, boom, let's throw it in there. Uh, let's log in using Navigraph. I'm going to uh, get my SIM brief up. Sign in. All right, so that's it. Let me throw this up in the top here, boys, so you can uh, get a feel for what's going down. NZ uh, AA to NZ WN. Both of these are flight beam airports that I've got here too, so that works out quite well. I'm going to grab my flight plan here uh, and generate my flight. Yes, boom, done, easy. Thanks for coming. Oh, God, man. Uh, <laughs> given our safety record, I'm going to start swimming now. <laughs> Spam and chap. Yeah, love it. George. Tindy Airlines. <laughs> what else? Is that got accurate weather here, boys? Yes, it's beautifully blue sky out there today. We don't need this checklist here, boy. I've got my own one. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. So today we're going to be flying from Auckland to Wellington, a flight that I've taken, I would say... This flight I've taken at least 30 times, maybe more. And that's only this week. Uh, right, okay, let's get into it. Um, let's go up here and turn our external powers on. <sighs> Batteries. It's been a while since I've flown this thing. Crew supply. Let's go ahead and put our strobe to order. Nav and logos can go on. Uh, APU, one, two, three, uh, boom, far. We'll go ahead and do our seat belts and our thingies. Now let's do our ideas. One, two, one, two, one, two. I'll put my fuel pumps on now while I'm thinking about it because I always forget them. I'm not going to test out all the other stuff up the time. External APU is good. Ideas, fuel pumps, yes. Oxygen, overhead, emergency exit lights. No smoking. Okay, we're good. All right, I think we're good there, boys. So let's go down into our McDo. 
Let's go to our init. Let's go to IRS init. Let's go, it's all aligned, so that's good. Go ahead and uh, init request, that's right. Feel free to fly along, everybody. Beautiful. The flight number actually is, today, is ANZ433. ANZ433. There we go, right there. And we're going to have an altitude of 340 today. 340, here it is. And the cost index is going to be 5. That's unusual, that's new, that's exciting. It's always that for this flight for some reason. Okay, so let's uh, let's just go up here and turn on our iPad. Let's go here. I'll just readjust the time. Tap to import from Simbrief. Beautiful. I'm getting the hang of this again, ladies and gentlemen. McDo or McDunt? <laughs> that is the question. <laughs> Ah, beautiful. I love it. Mass and balance. Let's go ahead and load the aircraft instantly because I'm a bit lazy. Dismiss. Okay, McDo. Let's go ahead into our flight plan. Okay, we're going to be ta departing, everybody, from runway today. We are departing 23 left. NZAA. Let's depart it. In uh, 23 left. We're going to be uh, on the... Uh, Livra One Papa. Livra One Papa departure. And it's going to be the Carl transition. Let's insert that just for a laugh. We're loving that. Wellington, we're going to be in the uh, to Papa 3 Alpha. Very common approach here into ILS uh, runway 34. There we go. Papa is the name of our national museum, by the way. It's in Wellington. Uh, it's the three alpha, not the one Charlie. And it is, insert that, boys. All right, let's go up here. What have I forgotten? Is that just, oh, that's right. They've done this, haven't they? They've done this. They make them all, whoa, whoa, whoa. They make them all dim. A bit like me. It's a bit annoying. Okay, uh, let's get these up. I was like, have I not turned something on here, boys? Right, okay. So let's go ahead and just sort out our altimeter, which is 1033. Uh, we're going to go on to plan here, and let's just step through, make sure there's no discos. And there is not. So we're feeling emotional about that. There's no doubt about it. Okay. Right, let's go ahead and throw in some init stuff. Init. Init. Uh, what are we doing here? Oh, yeah. Okay, we're going to do this stuff. Okay, what is our zero fuel? Uh, we have 56.4, 28.9. 56.4, 28.9. Okay, Block fuel is 5.6, 5.6, throw that in there, feeling good, looking great, mainly just feeling good, let's go perf, we're going to go over back over to here, we're going to go here, we're going to go into our departure performance, we're going to say a few things here, first of all we're going to say, the brightness needs to go up on this, how do you turn the brightness up on this, uh, who cares, 23L, Runway's dry. We're going to have one. We're going to sink our load sheet. We're going to sink our real weather. And then we're going to calculate. I reckon uh, 129, 142, 142. 132, 135. So close. 132, 135, 135. Emotional. Okay. Uh, flaps are one up 0 0.2. 1 bar 0 0.2 up flex attempt is going to be 68 how do I settings 
How do I tune the brightness up on this thing? How do I do it? Does anyone know? Da, 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 da. Hold on, I forgot. I completely forgot now my uh, flex to 10. What was it? 68. I don't know how to tune the brightness up on that thing. Uh, 68. There we go, boys. Easy as that. What are you turkeys saying? Uh, I prefer the control E approach. These big planes baffle my pickle. <laughs> They're not too bad. Just work once. Just work through the checklist. It's all good. How? Do, okay. Oh, I'm getting a little bit of bloody lag here. How the hell do I turn up the brightness on this, guys? Oh, that, that looks like this should be. Ozzy, how you going? Yeah, you run. Yeah, that'll be good. And escort will be good. How, come on, someone. Someone needs to tell me. Does anyone know how to do it? Let's see, settings is what, like, should be where it's at. Kiwi Mace. Oh, brightness. Here he goes. Hold on, I've just ruined it. Oh, I, there's actually a bar in there. I can't see it. There we go. There's a... Ha-ha! <laughs> okay, shut up. All right. Okay, so uh, transition altitude should be in there already. That's good. That's good. Uh, transition altitude. That's good. Flex attempt. Great. Boom, 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 boom. Done. Easy as that. Okay. That's easy, boys. So, let's turn these up. Jesus. Okay, so, uh, flight director is on. If it's good. Dotted. We're good. Uh, what did we say our flight? I think we're 34,000, something like that. Let's put that in there. 34. Here we go. North, odd, south, even. Our ideas aren't quite aligned yet, so let's just go outside and just check out this beautiful scenery. This is the flight beam scenery for NZAA. We've got Finnair in here for some reason. We've got uh, <laughs> we've got Shalman here. We've got <laughs> Alan. What are you up to down there, mate? Oh yes, in the beautiful Kiwi livery. I forgot about that. I should have flown that. What an idiot. Oh well. But this is this is a tremendous piece of scenery. This one of my favourites here in Auckland and this is what it looks like and there goes Kiwi Airfield in the background PMDG versus Phoenix I haven't flown the PMDG so I'm unqualified to give an opinion around that do you have VD uh, yeah you've got to um, I think you've got to uh, for this airport I think you've got to there's an add-on that you've got to I've forgotten what it's called I've forgotten what it's called there's like an add-on that you've got to download separately I'm pretty sure I mean these gates here don't have it but over on the What's the difference between flying Kiwi Air and jumping out of a plane without a parachute? Well, probably better chance of surviving if you jump out of a plane without a parachute. Um, the VG, uh, VGDS, VDGS, it's over here. Somewhere, from memory. Mm, maybe it's not. I'm pretty sure it was. Have I not installed it? That could be a thing. Hmm. I'm not sure, mate. I am not sure. I, was, I thought it was in here, but maybe not. Absolutely nothing. No, you definitely got a better chance of surviving if you jump out of a plane without a parachute, surely. All right, here we go, team. Let's jump back in here. We are all aligned. Okay, good. Parking brake, good, good. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, start our APU. APU bleed can go on. Uh, external power can probably go off then. That's emotional. Oh, fuck. What? You're saying my AP wasn't ready? It's what you're saying. It's what you're saying, everybody. What happened there, boys? Let's wait for this to log back in, and then we'll... Uh, I'm pretty sure my APU wasn't ready. Should have been. Must have cocked up. Let's wait for that to come up. Uh, I thought it went very quiet very quickly. Where's the speed here? Oh, well, that, that should dot off in a minute. Okay, see if this is available now. Okay, it says it's available now didn't before did it okay if 
be beaten. Now it should work. Yes. Okay. Good work, boys. All right, let's clear those messages. Smoke detectors. Not required. Okay. Oh, I've got a line of... Oh, I've got to realign the IO. Ugh. Okay, hold on. Maybe I can just go in here and... Oh, okay, that's fine. I've screwed that up. It's fine. Oh, I have to wait seven minutes, everybody. Hurry up and get off the ground. Running out of beers back here. <laughs> Grab this one in Wellington Sceneries when they were on sale last week. Nice. Yeah, it's bloody good. What fighter jets do you have mine shown as a 737? Uh, I've only got the F-14, I think. Or F-15, I think. And F-18. A separate add-on, I thought it was vanilla. Uh, I'm not too sure, mate. I can't remember. I think the... Uh, if I go into config... If I go into... Uh, how do I... Uh, instantly align the IRS? No, I just went in the idiot. Manual, no, 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 no. Da, 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 da. I'm not too sure. I know you can actually uh, adjust it. And you can tell it to just basically automatically... Oh, panel states, maybe? No. Mess and balance. Ground services. We get rid of those. Uh, I know, I'm pretty sure, you can um, adjust it so that it automatically um, aligns your IRS. I just don't know where where to go and do that. Auto T no. No, 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 no. No, no. No. Oh, no it's probably in the McDo, I'd say. Maintenance maybe, I don't know. No. Manual failures, no. Fuel, no, no. Pack maybe uh, no back. Controls. Ah, not too sure. Not too sure, everybody. Not too sure. We'll just have to wait, because I'm an idiot. But it's not unusual, is it? <laughs> That's right, Alan. Anyone know where how to uh, align IRS instantly? In the meantime, we can do a few things. Let's do this. Phoenix. Is the away uh, inside manual failures? Okay, that makes complete sense, doesn't it, boys? So apparently, inside manual failures, right mouse. Uh, it is going to inside manual failures. You have to ready the IRS one two three that are in orange. That work? No. Oh, 
of that's good. By the time I figure this out, it's going to be aligned anyway, really. What do they say? Inside manual failures, you have to ready the IRS123 that are in orange. Well, none of them are in orange. Okay. There we go. I'm pretty sure you can do a setting though. I'm almost certain you can do a setting. Oh, you can't speed it up. All oh, right, okay then, lovely. Have I got no fight plan in here now? What the? F what? Oh, far out. Did it reset everything? Oh, that's amazing. That is amazing. I could have spent that time bloody re it in. What an absolute bloody plonker. That's annoying. That is really annoying, everybody. 433. Alright, let's get through here real quick. Sorry, in it. This way. What was it? 56.8, 29.6 or something? Let's have a look. Mass and balance. 36.4, 28.9. So close. What was it? 56.4 This is amazing 5.6 Here we go Jesus Christ Departure 23 L From the Lev Carl Insert NZWN Arrival, RS-34, to Papa 3, Alpha, temporary insert. Boom, done. Okay, we're back up and running, boys. And we're aligned. So we're good. All right, we're ready to go. How about that? Easy as that, team. Man, that was exciting. What bloody idea was that Phoenix flight? <laughs> All right, let's get ahead and, uh, whoa. Getting a lot of bloody thingy going on here, boys. Ground services. Let's call a tug. Connect the tug. Exactly. No time for a safety check. Uh, right. Just got to just got to do this, boys. Plugged in. Okay. Apply and save. Go back. Resume. All right. 23 L. While that's uh, revving up, we can go ahead and do this. And that. All right. I'm ready when you are, boys. Let's go. Parking brake is off. What are you waiting for? Isn't it? Oh, it's stub. Okay, I could press start just for a laugh. How we get an engine start? Oh, that's way too fast. What have I forgotten? APU bleed is good.
engine on there. We can't go too far here because we've got a lot of people around. Let's go ahead and press stop there just for a second. Why is this not starting? Holy shit. Side stick, that's a nothing. What do we got? Okay. Batteries are on. Fuel pumps are on. APU bleed is good. Yeah. It's fine, fine. Beacon. I'll just do that. I forgot about that. Why is this not working, everybody? What am I missing? Um go through park brake, external power. Oh, it's off. Da, da, da. Just going back through my uh, checklist here to see if it's uh, APU bleeds on. APU APU's on. Smoking. Do flight number, yeah we've done that. We've done the flight plan. We'll put out the plan. Hey. Maybe we'll just have to get get the tug to push us to Wellington. Let's see, what are we missing down here? Oh, that's not going up. Yeah, the engine... Why is that not working? Oh, yep, there we go. Uh, my uh, my Thrustmaster thing wasn't working. Bloody hell, boys. This is smooth as air. Are we there yet? Yeah. You guys could be. The Mexican, how you doing? Welcome in. Good to see you. Welcome to the absolute madness that this is, that this, that this stream is. Okay, let's... Up two. Oh, it's down. Up two. It's good. Oh, jeez. Tell you what, this is this is draining. This is draining today. I've got to map how we're looking for our uh, engines here, boys. Okay, engine two. Engine one can go on now. Go ahead and put our max auto brake on. Let's test our controls right now. Beautiful. Tell you what, boys. I was hoping we'd be landing by now, by the way. Bit of an issue. All right. Did I miss something? Whoa. Oh. I'm getting a ma massive bloody lag in the cockpit here at the moment, boys. Okay, we are almost there. Revving that one up. Looking good. We can probably get rid of the APU now. APU off. Master can go off. It's good. Uh, we can probably grab some of these lights up here. Wing light can go on. Taxi can go on. All right. Oh. It's going to bang on and off all the time. Uh, auto brake flap set to one. Yes. Yes, yes. Pitch trim. Good, good, good. Okay, let's just check our takeoff config here. Protective wind shear is off. Um, okay, takeoff configures what I want. Give me it. Here we go. We're all good. Let's just tell the cabin that we're ready to go. And let's go. Far out, boys. Jesus.
You missed nothing, Mark. I don't know if I replied to you before. Literally nothing. What a beautiful day here in Auckland. And it is, actually. In fact, I'm going to open my window. Let's get some bloody wind or some breeze coming through here, boys. I poured in a nice whiskey. <laughs> You're going to need it, mate, to get through this stream. I tell you what. Cheers. All right, okay, boys. I think we're all under control now. We've had our Tinder Hot XYZ guests come in and give us a bit of an ind indication of some of the fun things to do out there on the internet. That's appreciated. It's not quite what I thought we'd get from a sponsorship point of view, but we'll take it. We will take it. We're going 11. Probably go a bit faster than that team. Really need to get a uh, a better cockpit background than this one here when I fly the jets. Be fair to say. Brett, good morning. I'm well. Yeah, mate, I'm really well. Yourself? You on soon, are you? I assume. been a bit of an interesting morning it's uh it's uh with we went and uh, flew the black square analogs uh king air and it would be fair to say that it's quite a complex aircraft and you need to probably do a bit of practice before going on stream but hey it's a, it's a lot of fun time for me to take a flight to sleep land be safeish <laughs> good to see you captain safety as always we'll make sure no safety has been taken into account when we're uh, doing any flying so you can rest assured but yeah, no, it's bloody. I did enjoy the um, the the King Air, but uh, there's a lot to it. So you just got to make sure that you know what you're doing. And uh, the reality is, I don't. So there's a lesson for everybody. Just park up here, waiting for these two canadas to. What are you waiting for, Alan? Oh, he's not. He's away. He is away. next right for takeoff yeah, let's throw this on uh, let's throw our freaking hardly see I got the right one uh, air, weather radar transponder yes takeoff config is done so let's go up here and let's throw our runway turn off Landing lights, nose light, beautiful boys. Mark is out of it. All right, team.
Actually, these ground markings, for those of you who are wondering, you don't actually have to follow them onto the runway. They're designed to be followed when you exit the runway. So there you go. You can sleep nice and easily now knowing that piece of information. All right. That looks like enough separation to me. Let's ease up. Let's ease it forward. Get up to 50. And then flex temp. Flex temp. Flex it. And we are away, boys. A little bit of nose pressure. Keep that nose down on the ground. As we accelerate up, we release it a little bit. We stay on the center line just for a laugh. Look at that runway texture. Whew. Beautiful. 100 knots. V1. Rotate. Let's get it up. Positive rate. Gear up. Just for a laugh. Gear up. Lazy mode. Engaged. Beautiful. Ah, I love this bloody departure. That is so good. 23 hour. Beautiful, boys. Beautiful. Just monitoring what we're up to here, boys. Have a good flight. You too, mate. Thrust levers back to climb. Nose goes down. Accelerate out a bit, boys. We can go ahead and uh, put our spoilers to disarmed. Speed's increasing. Looking for that slats indicator so we can get rid of that. Look at this. What a beautiful day here in the city of sales. Auckland. Accelerate it here up over to the west coast of the North Island ahead of us. This is a Manukau Harbour right down here. Wait to accelerate up here. We can clear those off. And uh, we can retract our flaps. We're on this. That's good. Looking good. Feeling great. Transaction altitude is 13,000, so I don't need to do anything there yet. I do need to go and refill my coffee, though, which I'm going to do very soon, ladies and gentlemen. We'll just wait till we. Uh, And turn here very soon. Beautiful boys. <coughs> what an absolutely tremendous bloody departure this is. Okay, 5,000 feet, we've got to remember to turn our landing lights off so uh, we don't get whacked. Looking back down through the Waikato there, South Auckland over the left, and then Waikato, so you've got uh, the likes of Hamilton as the major city there. Used to be, they used to fly international flights out of there, but I don't know if they do anymore. It's about an hour south of uh, Auckland by car that is. Beautiful. There's Kiwi Airfield in the background ladies and gentlemen. The premier international destinations for tourists into New Zealand. That may or may not be a fact. Okay, let's go ahead and get rid of these. Those can go. The nose light does not want to do anything, so we'll do this. There we go. Everything's good. Let's wait until we get to 13,000. Had murders with my sim all day yesterday and today. Multiple crash to desktop. Did a full reinstall. Turns out it was Phoenix app resetting to quality when my card can only handle performance. Oh shit, really? It was just uh, it was just automatically resetting to that, was it? 
is weird. Okay. We'll get up to 13,000 feet here, boys. I can turn my terrain off. We'll uh, get up to our 13,000 feet, get past transition altitude, reset my reset to standard uh, pressure, and then I'll go and refill my coffee, and then pretty much it cruises like 15 minutes <laughs> in this flight. It's not very long. And then we can uh, start thinking about descending down into Wellentron. Should be pretty emotional. I don't know about you guys. I feel pretty emotional about it. Totally emotional. Is this mic coming through? Oh, I don't think I've got this quite set up correctly. Maybe I'm not talking loud enough. Should be fine. All right. <clears throat> Two nine. We should get the flashing. Do we do indeed? Pull for standard. Pull for standard. Go inside the aircraft. Let's get a decent looking. Here we go. All right. Back in a second, boys.
what I missed. <clears throat> Got a uh, escort there, which is good. No, I least sort out our bloody approach thing here. Um, Perth. Next phase. Next phase. Next phase. Uh, what's happening here <coughs> in terms of our. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, what am I doing here? Uh, uh, 010 at 18. One over at 18, that's good. Q&H is 1030. 15. 103015. 15. 15 degrees centigrade. Oh, what's the barrow here? Can you remember? You should say 250. Close enough. Alright. Let's go. Flight plan. Well, I suppose I could go in here and actually have a look at what it actually is. Um, import. <coughs> WN. Approach. Uh, three, four. Pretty sure it's like two, eleven or something like that. I can't remember. Mm hmm. Okay, we're talking 300, are we here? I oh, know. Uh, straight in landing. ILS DME. Okay, ABC. Yeah, three, I'm pretty sure 300 is a go for us, isn't it? Sounds about right. There's no radar. Yeah, 300. What did I put in there? Two fifty. I was a little bit reckless. Let's go 300. Beautiful, boys. Ah, lovely. Football. We need to... First of all, let's talk about League One. I, I haven't seen the results, so let's have a look. League One. Oh, oh Portsmouth won 1-0 over Forest Green. Wow, didn't know that. That was just lucky. Okay, let's have a look at the League One table, uh, which we're all very interested in. And where would Portsmouth be? They're in fifth on 25 points. Yeah, it's been a bit rocky the last five or six, uh, five or six weeks. EPL, let's have a look at the EPL. What's going on in there apart from Ronaldo getting benched? <coughs> if you don't want to hear the EPL results, turn away now. It's only been four games played this weekend. Go away, I don't want to know about that. <laughs> Not an Forest one, Liverpool. Zero. <laughs> oh, you got to laugh. you got to laugh, everybody. Really, don't you? you got to laugh. Uh, Everton, three. Crystal Palace, zero. It's a bit of a walloping. Manchester City. I hope I pronounced that correctly. One. Brighton, one. Oh, sorry. City, three. Brighton, one. Oh, Chelsea, one. Manchester United. I hope I pronounced that correctly. One. All. Oh. Ooh. Arsenal at home to Southampton. Kind of want Southampton to win that, even though I hate them. It's tomorrow. Uh, we've got Aston Villa to be playing uh, Brentford. Uh, we've got Leeds at home to Fulham. We've got uh, Wolves at home to Leicester. Tottenham at home to Newcastle. I saw Leicester had a win the other day. Off the bottom of the table now. West Ham on Tuesday, or uh, sorry, that will be Tuesday, uh, Monday your time, at home to Bournemouth. So interesting there, boys and girls. Interesting results. Do the charts come with the Phoenix? Uh, no. No, I've got a subscription to Navigraph. Alan says football. Is that the sport where no results today can affect the fact that Arsenal are top of the league? <laughs> You're going to get your 1 in 50 year result. Although I reckon Arsenal are going to find a way to completely screw it up. Surely. Let's have a look at the table. They are on 27 points. And they've only played 10. Everyone else has played 11. 
literally everyone else except Leeds has played 11 or 12 games. Whew. Yes, interesting. Interesting. Let's put our constraints on here, team, just so I know what's going on. I'm pretty sure it's a 3,000 entry here, is it? Or 2,000? Yeah, it's 2,000 entry at Noob Money. Get a nice uh, escort there, boys. What about the cricket last night? Who saw the cat? Has anyone watched the cricket last night? Or well, yesterday, your time, or this morning, your time, would it be? Oh, shit, I spelled overhaul. Get it. Over. Overhaul. I spelled that incorrectly, boys. But yesterday, what a catch by Brett Phillips on the boundary yesterday. Superman catch, unbelievable. I got to show up. I'm going to show up because I can't get copyrights. I can't get a uh, 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 Phillips catch. I can't get copyrighted anyway because uh, I haven't got thingy on. I haven't got um, monetization on. Check that out! That is insane. Look at this. <laughs> that was so good. Let me see it again. Oh my god, that is just insane. <laughs> oh, I love it. Absolutely love it. Hold on. Let's get on to this because. I wonder the pitch was lagging. Um, football, da, 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 stealing fuel. Is it possible to build your own golf course? Yes, it is. Definitely is. Yep. There's a, um, a course designing. You can definitely do it. And you want South Hampton to win? Let me call George. He has more. <laughs> Did you see a sheep in the stand? Yeah. Definitely. His girlfriend is a sheep. the ignition onto normal it's okay all right we're getting close here boys let's go ahead and knock this down to 2000 and then i think if we go like this we'll see some constraints further up but that's cool that's pretty boring on that side let's go that side yeah man what a catch what a cat i watched it live actually it was absolutely tremendous And now the newspaper um, newspaper headlines are Aussie media roast T20 team after shock World Cup lost to Black Caps. <laughs> oh, I loved it. <laughs> it was awesome. Oh, you got to love it. What's happening with screenshots today, boys and girls? Have you guys put some screenshots in there? Let's have a look. If yes, you play golf. Uh, I used to, yeah, I hardly play now. When I played, I was like on an eight. So I was decent, but not amazing. But I hardly ever play now. Okay, let's have a look here, boys. Let's get this going on. Uh, here's Mayday. Uh, Morrissey, sorry, Morrissey here. Oh, nice. Oh, where's this? Where's that? It's Mark. Nice. 
go some more of uh, CJM's. Looking good. That's a nice livery, I've got to say. Uh, yes, my handicap is valves. That is correct. Oh, nice. It's looking good. Feeling great. It's a nice shot. I like that one. Mark. And we've got Space Peppy here. Beautiful. I like it. Nice work, everybody. Some good, uh, good quality content there. But Alan is correct. That is my true handicap. There's no doubt about it. Okay, how far away are we looking for top of descent? Not far. For, uh, country over is that Taranaki down there it is indeed it's Mount Taranaki or Mount Egmont as it used to be called and that does have that big round circle around it of trees and that's quite funny actually it's New Plymouth just below the tail there's New Plymouth down there Call it is looking okay. The um, a pilot's life haven't been doing much flying at all recently at all. What's that? Yeah. Big win in the Rugby World Cup by New Zealand, too. It's good sporting weekend, actually, for us. That's one good sporting weekend in a row. We're on a roll. It really looks like a giant apple. <laughs> Be there, but you. It's going to be a busy, bloody approach here into Wellington with all you turkeys coming in. Let's open that curtain up a bit, team. It's very warm in here. Did you hike at Tongariro? No, I did not. I did not. I'm not much of a hiker to be fair. Yeah, I, yeah, it looks pretty awesome if you're into that sort of thing, definitely. <coughs> well, thanks very much everybody once again for jumping on and Flying along. It's always an absolute pleasure. Except Alan. Put up with him though. Stay. How are you doing? Hope I pronounced that correctly. Welcome on in. I'm doing very well. We're just uh, completing a flight here in the Phoenix A320 from NZAA in Auckland to NZWN down in Wellington, the capital of New Zealand. Hope you're well. It's been going quite well, I'd be fair to say, apart from me uh, turning all the electrics off on the aircraft because the APU wasn't ready and uh, having to put in everything back in again. That was a shocker. Alan says, I had a job interview yesterday. I think they want me. They manufacture ladies' period underwear. I thought I was worth sharing as I'm an idiot. <laughs> oh, nice. That's awesome. Well done. Going down to Wellington, mate. NZWN up the top there, you can see the uh, departure and arrival. A 
looking good, feeling great. Cruising down the uh, west coast of the North Island at the moment. Just left Taranaki, now on towards Wellington area. Left my escort over the top there, thank you. out a descent not sure I said ladies period on but then again nowadays maybe you have to <laughs> exactly you would you never know mate you never know okay not far to go to our top descent here boys this is completely normal to see in the uh, skies of New Zealand <laughs> I think actually in the uh, what are you in the f22 or something right F35 is it? One of the two. Beautiful weather. I tell you what, I'm looking out the window here, boys, and it is. It looks exactly like this. Is this is summer kicking in in New Zealand then? Yes, yes, starting to for sure. Who's in the Trans Avia Library? Library? Is that you, mate? Eh? I don't know. Could be. Ah. Right. About 20 away from our top of descent. Thank you. <laughs> now you got the Kiwi Library. Library. I keep saying library. It's a new way of saying it. It's a New Zealand way of saying it. I don't mind. I've got to change the units on my bloody watch. It keeps changing. Resetting the units on my watch every bloody night. It's so annoying. I've got to go back in and then reset them to the proper units. There we go. Boom, 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 boom. Done. Easy as that, boys. That's what happens. Okay. Okay, amazing. All right. So we're in, uh, let's go to 20 then. Yeah, once it gets inside 5, that's when I knock it down and we start our descent down into Wellington, which I'm going to be in in a, in a few weeks' time. 10, 5, 3, 3 metres. So, so bloody you, uh, Arsenal, eh? Jeez, who would have guessed it? Absolute shocker. Here's John. Has he been in today? I can't remember seeing him. Did he pop in earlier? Very briefly? No. I think I saw him on uh, I think I saw him on Discord. Alright. I still haven't got this calibration right on these controls, they're so annoying. Keeps popping up. Hard to hate it. Ripped it up, started again, we've got our club back. <laughs> All right, let's give the uh, descent, managed descent. Let's do it.
Okay, landing rate competition while I'm thinking about it. Let's do it now. Put in your guesses now, boys and girls. Personal pride only. Throw it in there. What do you think you what do you think of my, my land rates? They've been pretty terrible recently, I'd be fair to say my landings. They've been absolutely horrendous. But that's what you expect, let's be honest. I love this approach down here into 34, it's good. In real life it's cool too. So you go right down the bottom of the North Island and you skirt it and then you do a big left hand sweeping turn across Cook Strait. And you can see all the uh, all the wind the wind farm up on the on the hill as you go around and then you just come in, it's a beautiful approach down through there. It's a bit hairy when it's windy. Very, very uh, hairy in fact. It gets uh, yeah, anything with a crosswind coming in here is just yeah, fun and games. It's looking good, my uh, pilot side is looking good, we're all ticking along nicely here too. Alright, 30 more seconds, get your guesses in ladies and gentlemen, it's for personal pride only. Shared the same thoughts briefly. <laughs> Ten more seconds. Not many people are in the competition today. Come on, throw your gets us in. You know you want to. Now we can probably go back onto this. Put our constraints on. So first constraints uh, got to be over five thousand feet. Uh, feet calm. All right. Main rate stopped. Good luck. Good luck in retaining a little bit of personal pride. A bit of self-respect. do what's our checklist say here boys it says on descent I've done all that auto brake I suppose I could put that on now medium sounds good uh, passenger signs yep they're fine yep we're good 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 we're all good there we're completely fine boys This is an exciting stream right now, as you can tell. Great commentary. Okay, what's going on here, boys? Let's, uh, let's not get down to 40. Uh, let's not get back up, baby. Oh, did I knock it down to 20? Did I? did indeed. I'm an idiot. All right. So some of you guys are getting pretty close up there. Let's see, 18,000. What am I? 24, not too far behind. Yeah, so PGA... Tour 2K23. When I spoke about it last week, I talked about that I just wasn't overly excited about it. But the more I've played it, the more I'm starting to like it a bit more, to be honest. Um, I originally thought it was like a, a lot of pay to win, but actually, 
the skills tree you earn them all, you can earn them all without having to pay anything you can um, buy a whole lot of cosmetic stuff but the actual the skills bring a, a bit of a different sort of uh, tactic to the game if you like or strategy where you've got to decide where to put your skill points in to give yourself the best chance of getting around low and uh, some of them do make quite a big difference so once you start to get your head around that it kind of starts to feel a bit better it's definitely I, I'm think it's harder than the uh, previous version I've, I've found timing really difficult although since I bought that PS5 controller it's had a massive difference so my other controller was just a heap of crap just wasn't very good so yeah that's uh, that's made a big difference so I've actually yeah I'd actually say I quite like it now what's it rated on Steam actually I wonder what the uh, I'm just uh, I wonder what it's let's see 2K23 let's go to the store page I'm guessing uh, mixed is what I would say it is. Mixed is my guess. And exactly what it is, mixed. What are people saying? Yeah, it's got microtransactions. That's the negatives on it. If you're just playing gold games, buy two k twenty one. Entire friends could be fun with this. Huge fan of two k twenty one. These are all the negative ones. They're always the fun ones to. to. Have they changed the actual way you play the game? No. You're still, it, like, it's definitely, the timing's slightly different, but no, it's the same, use the stick is exactly the same. They've actually um, included fl a three-click me method too. You know the old school, you know, click to make your bar go up, then click it where, where, how much power you want, and then click it again to get the accuracy. They've got that in it too, I don't use that, but you can. Yeah, it's quite a few, it's like, it's definitely mixed, the comments. Yeah, a lot of them are saying there's not much different, and there's a fair, I mean, I think, yeah, the graphics are pretty average. Well, when it, like, compare it, compared to modern games, the graphics aren't brilliant. It'll be interesting to see how EA Sports uh, Golf, how they go. I hope they go back to P PGA Tour 14. Yeah, three clicks, Christ, Tiger Woods on the PS1, yeah, exactly, mate. Yeah, I'm playing it on PC, I am indeed, yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's um, you know it's 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 all good. Look, it's definitely yeah. I, I can see why people would say that it's not much of an upgrade from the previous one. The graphics are definitely for like I say for a modern game are pretty average. And it's definitely a lot more microtransactions in it than there were on the original one. But you just don't just don't pay, don't just don't buy them if, you, if that's something. There's like a battle pass and that the battle pass is crap. It's like you just get a whole lot of cosmetic crap. It's crap. But the game itself, yeah, I, I kind of like that it's challenging. It's, yeah, I found it completely fine actually so far. Like, yeah, it's grown on me. I definitely didn't like it for a start. But it's grown on me. Now we're looking 17. Okay, we're getting close to our transition altitude here, ladies and gentlemen. But yeah, I mean, if you would, uh, I don't know. I'm not, it's not much different to 2K21, really, to be honest. I think someone in one of the comments there said uh, on, on Steam there said that it's like they blew a lot of their budget on the licensing with Tiger Woods. And that's probably true. Are you opting to buy MW2? I, I yeah, I'll buy that. If I'm going to buy that, I'll buy that through Blizzard, uh, through the, um, you know, through Battle.net. Uh, because I'll, I can just use my World of Warcraft gold to convert into Blizzard Balance and then buy the game. So that's probably what I would do. I'm thinking about it. I have to have a look at some videos. I don't know. I mean, I, I, I MW2 is pretty cool. But it's just so many games. I, I just... I just find myself not having enough time. And hardly got enough time to play Flight Sim, really. So, yeah, it's a difficult one. But, yeah. What's it worth? MW2. Standard edition's 120 New Zealand, yeah. Maybe. I have to see some videos. I mean, I'm not... Uh, I just don't know. Uh, anyway. So we'll have to see. We will have to see on that front. Okay, how we're looking here, boys. We are down to 14. Imagine us within one team. <laughs> yeah, it'd be fun. 
Uh, yeah, my game Overwatch have gone Battle Pass route. Yeah, Overwatch two. Yeah, I've, I, I I never played one, but I've watched a few reviews and stuff of Overwatch two, and people are a little bit pissed off by the sounds of it. Doesn't sound like it's much of an upgrade either. I don't know. I never played the original, but. Okay, so I've met that condition, that's fine. Right, how are we, 13 and a half? Okay, getting close to our transition outer hood, outer, outer hood, which is like altitude, except it's a bit different. Probably go ahead and arm my spoilers. Auto brakes are on. I'll turn it on, I'll list button, don't really need to do it. Let's go ahead and barrow ourselves up. 1030. Uh, let's do, might as well turn the land system on now, why not? It's a long way to go, but do it now. 37 nautical miles, not too far. But yeah, I think I might get it. I don't know, I might. We'll see. Add it to the list of games. I see that Valheim is out for free on Microsoft Game Pass, so I wouldn't mind paying that as a team. Yeah, we'll see. I'm getting it for my birthday for Xbox. Oh, nice, Mark. That's awesome. Yeah, there's a few good games out on um, Xbox for Game pa PC Game Pass at the moment. It's bloody quite a few, actually. It's a bloody good... It's a, I really like that. It's a really good value. I've got so much value out of that thing. Really good. All right. Okay, we're starting to get down into the nitty gritty now of this flight, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, 33 nauticals to go. Hopefully they'll include the old maps as well. Yeah, that'll be awesome. I remember NW2, like when it came out, man, it was good. I had it on um, PlayStation 3. Does that sound right? PS3, I think it was. Or PS2, it might have been. Can't remember. The original one. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, right. We are. Just look. Down at 10,000. Passing through 10,000. Just to keep. Uh, Keep the thing happy. Keep uh, Pirate's Life happy. PS3, was it? Ah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. I think I still got it there somewhere. Yeah, it's good. PS3 had some bloody good games, eh? Well, we're about to jump through this cloud layer here, team. Still looking pretty good. Sponsorship, man. It's going well. Okay, 7-6. Getting close to, where are we, 22? Getting close to getting into approach mode. Green Donut there on 200. Not too far to go, boys. Has approach mode, has approach, no it has not. 
17. I'll just wait for a couple of nautical miles in, we'll activate our, uh, our approach mode. In fact, do it now. Uh, perf, activate approach, confirm approach mode. First notch of flaps on, you see these extending out. I don't think that worked. I'll be slats on it, yeah. It's all good. All right. Murky approach, yep. Good old Wellington. Cool. I'm right on the edge of speed right there, boys. Resistance there, help it get down. Okay, auto brakes are good. Ground spoilers not yet. We will do them soon. here. Well, it is a bit bloody murky, that's for sure. New localizer now. Check our barrow. Approach mode can go on. Next notch can go down. Very murky, boys. Jeez. 2,500. Nothing like bloody uh, Auckland, is it? Let's get another notch on. Speeds. Hard to keep under control. Why is everyone overtaking me on short final? <laughs> Get that landing gear out very, very soon. In fact, we're going to get it out right now. Landing gear is out. Let the cabin crew know we are preparing for landing. It's good. Signs not on. No, no smoking, eh? Why are we? Why did it? What happened here? It missed the approach. Whoa, 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 whoa! Hey, why is this? What? It uh, cocked up. It didn't. Uh, it didn't grab the approach for some reason there. Wonder why. Had it on approach too. Let's get down a bit lower then. We'll have to hand fly this. I'll hand fly it until it intercepts. Again. Pretty sweet though, isn't it? Yeah, that was weird. All right, this is going to be fun. Going into Wally. How are we looking with our wind here, team? It's straight at us, so it's pretty good. It's not going to be a problem for us. 
flips full. That nose is up. Hey Mace, I'm in flying behind you from NZDN is ah nice. Good old Dunno's. Love it. Alright, give me some indicators here, boys, in terms of my altitude. Hundred above. Minimum. Yep, continue. A little bit high here, boys. Flight slow. Oh. Flight slow. We're fine. 30. Whoa, what the fuck's happening? 20. Retard. 10. 5. 225, boys. Oh, that was close to some of those guesses. I don't know what happened there at the end. It just almost took a bit of a mind on its own, mind of its own. Okay, brake fan on. Who's this? Who's this blo blocking up the bloody runway here? The uh, taxiway. I went as Triforce Gamers to put negative before his two two three. <laughs> Come on, Mark. What were you doing, mate? Okay. I think we're looking pretty good here, boys. Transponder off. Oh, I'm gonna get pinged for that. Bugger. Well, that was relatively successful, it would be fair to say. That was a correction needed as, I guess, the same value as Adam, uh, Alan. <laughs> so you're 223, it was 222, right? Yeah. That's pretty close, boys. Forgot the minus sign by accident. Instant disqualification. Surely. All right. Uh, just send me the two twenty grand in news notes. <laughs> Shouldn't be a problem. Oh, I've got a man, bloody. Yeah, you want a refrigerator? Yeah. Two of them. Fridge freezer, actually. Why is he saying go left? Okay. Keep going, 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 and stop. Beautiful. That was emotional. Signal power. Oh, we've got to do this. I hate it that does that. Boom. Okay, Phoenix is going to our ground services. 
Let's go ahead and uh, GPU, chocks and cones. We can go upstairs. We can throw in our external power. We turn off our batteries. We can turn everything off. We can turn off our engines. And we are good. I'm going to grab this flight and submit my flight while I was thinking about it. And then we can review it. I definitely have got some penalties there. Uh, one is going to be landing lights not turned off on taxing. The scenery is so much better than default. Yeah, this is brilliant. This really is my, one of my favourite ones. Flight beam. They've done a bloody good job. But you watch this. Like it'll, now it will just dis like it will disconnect that jetway. That's what tends to happen. Now that I've said it, it's not doing it. Okay. Let's go on the. Uh, I don't know what happened there. So. Okay, we're good. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is awesome, this one. It really is a good flight, this one. Well, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's quickly go and check out my. Uh, how well I've done on my thingy here. We'll go. Yes. Second monitor submit my flight so just submitting the flight here ladies and gentlemen the flight has been submitted thank you we'll go over and look at my logbook I'm picking 98 it's my guess 98 is the guess may or may not bring it up it does oh 100 I told you 100 <laughs> look at my last one 80 it had a major issue okay I didn't get pinged in the end that's good okay land rate 225 okay that's acceptable okay boys don't know how that happened but I'll take it 100 thanks for coming how am I looking actually uh, how am I looking Look at my dashboard here. I'm getting close to being promoted, I tell you. Not that close. Ah, uh, no, no. Another 700. Got a little bit to go. Nowhere near up with the ranks that some of you guys are, that's for sure. Here we go. All right. Well, thank you very much, everybody. Had to crash the desktop. Oh, no. It was an absolute pleasure. Once again, everybody, thanks very much for tuning in. Um, if you enjoyed what you saw around the Black Square Analog um, King Air, go and support the guys over there. It's bloody good, as you can see. You need, you, it needs a bit of practice, which I kind of like. Uh, so, yeah, it's definitely a bit more uh, complex. But anyway, hey, thanks very much, everybody. Uh, hit the like button. If you don't, the Alan will have to talk to you. No one wants that. Anyway, as always, don't eat yellow snow. Shut up. Till next time, everybody. Take it easy.